now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. You may have been noticing some of that smog, a little bit of haze in the sky. That's from the Canadian wildfire smoke that has been traveling southward from parts of Manitoba and Ontario, where they're dealing with one of the largest wildfire seasons in those provinces in history. And we do have an air quality alert for the entire Badger State until noon tomorrow, unless we do see improving conditions. Right now, the current status is unhealthy, so everyone uh, should limit outdoor activities, usually even especially with those with uh, sensitive issues, whether you have some respiratory problems or so. Not a good time to be going on a long bike ride. But good news is that as we head into the overnight and into tomorrow, this plume of really dense and smoky conditions will be moving down to the south and it does appear we'll get a break from it with more blue skies returning for our Sunday. Today was a little bit of a mixture of hazy skies and also some storms that have been developing across our area as a slow moving cold front moves in from Canada. Behind it, an area of high pressure will provide us with nice and comfortable conditions and that high pressure right now is moving in from the north with it. Cooler temperatures are on the way for tomorrow. Highs will only be in the lower to mid 70s. Along the cold front right now, we are tracking those showers and storms and some of which may be on the slightly strong to severe side. We do have a marginal risk for severe weather along most of the viewing area, the far north woods is under a general thunderstorm risk, a marginal risk for the rest of us. Right now, none of the storms have been severe, but they have been moving southward steadily, and there's a little cluster near the Wausau area showing some brief and heavy downpours, lightning indicating that stronger cell. Some of these storms do have the potential for some gusty winds upwards about 35 miles per hour and nickel size hail. So you need quarter size hail or 60 mile per hour wind gusts to get into that severe crash. Uh, category, but not quite right now. Down to the Southern Fox Valley from Princeton, final extra Boygan, quiet right now. You folks did have a couple light rain showers and storms just about an hour or so ago. We'll continue with the risk of these storms for the next few hours. As we head into the overnight, those will start to subside. Maybe a stray rain shower overnight, but overall things do turn quiet. And by tomorrow morning, should be pretty sunny out there. It will be a cool start to the day. Temperatures getting into the lower to mid 70s. Average high 81 will be running about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than normal. 66 right now in Green Bay with a dew point of 57. We've got a wind out of the west at 10 miles per hour. It is 77 in Pembine, 78 in Menominee, 78 in Fond du Lac. But those showers and storms that have pushed through have certainly cooled us off, acting as a natural air conditioner out there. Kiwani at 74. Humidity wise, a little all over the place from the upper 50s to the mid 60 degree dew point. So from the comfortable to getting uncomfortable category. However, with that high pressure moving in from Canada, that's drawing in some drier air as you head into tomorrow. So you see those dew points dropping into the dry category or the comfortable category. So that's a nice little change of pace. And also you'll be able to open up the windows once again tomorrow with that fresh air. So for the rest of tonight, watch out for those isolated showers and storms for the next couple of hours. We'll cool off to 58 with northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. We'll get up to 73 tomorrow. North winds at about 5 to 15 miles per hour with mostly sunny skies. And the 70 forecast Monday, 77. Then we have another slight chance of some thunderstorms on Tuesday, high of 83. And we do start to warm up, getting into those mid and upper 80s. Another milder heat wave moving in here. Nothing too substantial as what we saw for the beginning of June, where we had multiple 80s and 90 degree weather. But Another above average trend moving in here as we head into the next couple of days. So just, uh, you know, enjoy if you like the cool weather because heat's coming right back. It sounds beautiful. There's no 90s. That's perfect. Yeah, it's not too bad uh, considering how hot it was for the beginning of the summer. That's true. That's very true. Thank you, yeah. Gino. Still to come, 